हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन लास्ट वीडियोस वी हैव सीन फीचर्स ऑफ अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज आल्सो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू रन आवर फर्स्ट अपेक्स प्रोग्राम दैट इज हेलो वर्ड प्रोग्राम इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन अपेक्स इज ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज दैट मींस वी कैन क्रिएट क्लासेस इन अपेक्स प्रोग्राम एंड वी हैव टू क्रिएट इंस्टेंस ऑफ क्लास दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ऑब्जेक्ट राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी how to create classes and objects in apex programming language so let's get started so here in tab we'll type login dot salesforce dot com okay then username we will enter so we will enter our username then password okay login remind me later okay so we got this screen right so this is classic right we can also switch to lightning express in previous videos we have seen to run our program we require developer console this is classic right and in classic you can find developer console here this is my name parag jambulkar so what are the name that we have given while creating account so that name it is appeared here now see here if i click so i can find developer console and if you are using lightning express so here you can see in lightning experience here this is a gear button if you click here so here you can find developer console right now see we will click on developer console okay we got this screen developer console right now see in previous video when we have run our hello world program so there we have seen we have to get one anonymous window right and from where we are getting it so from debug that is the first option right open execute anonymous window so from that we get one window and there we are writing code so say normally in c c++ or java language whatever the code that we are writing in main method or main function that we are writing in this anonymous window but to create class we have to choose one another option see we have to create class and we will create object of that class in this anonymous window we'll see so we'll go to file so one thing i will do i will maximize it now see we'll go to file new and what we want to create apex class right so here i am clicking now please enter a name for your new apex class so i am giving name kelsey no okay, any name you can give so i am giving name kelsey okay okay so we got this class now see we will create one variable there are various data types supported by apex programming language those data types we will see in upcoming video here i am creating one variable to save decimal point value and for that i have to use data type double i am creating one variable result semicolon basically in class there are variables and methods methods are function so this is variable and i will create one function so same so in the same way how we are writing methods or functions in c c++ or java language in the same way we have to write function here so see first we require return type so what we will do return type i am mentioning double because we will return result right then method name suppose add and here we will accept two parameters these are the formal parameters right just like we have int data type in c c++ java language here in apex we have data type integer for integer value now see i am taking two values integer x and integer y now see here i am calculating some value right result should be x plus y and i am returning result so return result okay so see here i have created one class and i have created one variable in this class i have added one method right add now see so i am saving this now see if i write something here so it is showing star that means it is not saved right so we have to save it so i am pressing control s yes. so see that star got removed right that means this class is saved so by this we have created one class right now next thing we will go to debug then open execute anonymous window now see in c c++ and java language whatever the code that we are writing in main method that code will write 
here in this anonymous window. Now see, what we'll do, we'll create object of calc class, right? So suppose I'm creating one object, calc c is equal to new calc. So we have created this object. In last video, we have seen OPEX is case insensitive language. That means capital letter and small letter, both have the same meaning. Now we will create one variable of data type double. I am giving name res. In this variable, we will save our result, right? Now see, we have to call this add function, right? Add method. So how we can call? By using this object, right? C dot and what is our function name? Add. So we will call it. Now see, we will pass some values. So 3 and 5, that will pass. Okay. And whatever the result that we get in res variable that will print on the screen, right? So for that system dot debug, okay, so system is a class and debug is a static method. So that this static method we are calling directly by using system class here. Now see, in single quote, we will mention addition is equal to, right, plus. So plus here it is used for the concatenation just like in Java language we use plus for the concatenation right. So here we are using plus for the concatenation and our addition is in variable res right. So res then semicolon right. So it is done. So what we have done we have created object of calc class then we have created one variable of data type double here in this variable we are saving result we are calling add function by object c right we are passing 3 and 5. Then to print on the screen, we are calling debug method of system class, right? And on screen, what we have to print? Addition is equal to and what is the result that is saved in RES, right? Now see. So open log and execute. Here we got error. Method is not visible. Which method is not visible? Add method from the calc class. It is not visible. Why is it not visible? Because see, in Apex programming language, by default, all variables and functions if we are not mentioning access modifier by default it is private by default it is private and because of that it is not accessible outside the class so by default it is private so see here it is mentioned public but here we have not mentioned for this uh, variable we have not mentioned for this function we have not mentioned so by default access modifier in apex programming language is private now see we have to access it outside this class right there are four access modifiers in apex programming language private protected public and global so in upcoming videos we will see all the access modifier but keep in mind to access these variables and function outside this class we have to make it public so see we'll make it public and in the same way we'll make it this function as public okay now see it is showing star right that means it is not saved so control s by this it will save this class so see now it is removed right okay it is saved now again we'll go to debug open execute anonymous window now see what are the code that we have written it is showing here right now see we will execute so no error now see debug only okay so here we got right addition is equal to 8 right class is here right in this tab right and you got result here in this tab right now we will close this tab okay this is our class right what we'll do we'll add one more function one more method so see this i'm copying this and one more function we'll add one more method we'll add so instead of add now we'll make it sub okay same thing instead of plus we'll make it minus and return result okay remaining thing will be same okay showing star it is not save control yes okay got saved right again we will open our anonymous window okay now see what we will do same thing we will repeat so see i am copying it so see res is equal to c dot now see we will call sub okay this function will call we will pass same value 3 and 5 okay we can pass different values also it's our choice system dot debug now see instead of this addition here we will put difference Okay, difference and res result, right? Okay, now execute. Okay, then debug only. Now see here we got addition 8, difference minus 2, right? So in this way we can create our class and we can run it, right? Now see, I am closing this window. 
our class will be saved on Salesforce Cloud. So what we'll do, we'll log out and again we'll get login. So see, this is our lightning experience. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll log out. Okay, we got log out. Now see, again, we'll log in. Okay, log in. Remind me later. So this is lightning experience, right? So we will get our developer console here. In this gear icon, here we will find developer console. But if you are in classic, so we will get developer console here. So we will see. So here see, this is username and here we have to click and here you will find developer console. Okay, so we got developer console. What we want, we want to open our previously saved class, right? We will go to file, then open. Now see, already we have created a class Calci, right? So we'll double click on it. Okay. So see, this is the class that already we have created, right? To make use of this class, again, we have to click on debug. Then we have to click on open execute anonymous window. And again, same thing. Whatever we are writing in main method in C, C++, Java language, same code here we have to write. That means we have to create object of the Calci class. And by that object, we have to call these methods, right? So in this way, we can create class and objects in Apex programming language. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.